Hello everyone, this is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. My crafting idea for today is to use these pumpkins here and redecorate them for the Halloween season. My pumpkins came from Family Dollar, but you can find the exact same pumpkins at the Dollar Tree. I would like to transform these pumpkins they are harvest pumpkins, but I would like to transform them into Halloween pumpkins. So I found some fabrics and some yarn at the craft store. I have this one here. See how, look at the pretty colors on this yarn. So that's one. The other yarn I found was this one. Look at this. Isn't it so pretty? It's like... It's like a, a, a raccoon tail. <laughs> now, the fabrics I found are this here. This is that little, that uh, velour, I think they call it. It is gray. I found some gray and white polka dots. The black and white gingham. And I have the black and cream color plaid. And I have the orange gingham fabric. I would like to use these. The first thing I want to do is disassemble all my pumpkins. I want to take off all this uh, floral arrangement on top of each pumpkin. So let me do that. I will be saving all these little uh, arrangements that I'm pulling off my pumpkins. I plan to reuse it for another project. So here are my pumpkins. I'm going to start with the yarn and what I want to do is just recover all my pumpkins. Like with this pumpkin, I'm going to use my little uh, fuzzy yarn and I'm just going to wrap it like this. I think this will work just fine. <laughs>
are my pumpkins. Now, I like mine with little fabric bunched up at the top like that. Now, you don't have to do the same with yours. Now, if you don't like the fabric being on top, you can uh, definitely poke a hole in your uh, pumpkin like that. That way you can tuck the fabric back inside. But I don't mind this. I like the, uh, the bunched up stem look. Now, for you can still add a stem in there in between the just part the fabric like that and put a, a homemade stem in there. Now, for this pumpkin here, it, it's kind of looking like a ball and I want to give it its shape back. And now if we want to create some stems for our pumpkins, we can definitely do that. Some of them do come with the stems already. You can just reattach that stem. But for today's project, I do have the wire wrapped in paper. I have the stems on my pumpkins. Now I am just kind of um, twisting my stems to give it that little curly effect. See there? And there's that one. That one my pumpkins so I have my Halloween pumpkins now I hope that you give these pumpkins a try I do like this I like really like this one though I, <laughs> this is so cute I love the big fuzzy one and then I like the the way this one turned out it's very very pretty I I love all my pumpkins to really I I'm really happy with them. Thank you for stopping by. This is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. Hello everyone, this is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. My crafting idea is to create some Halloween fabric pumpkins. Some of the supplies that you will need today to create your Halloween fabric pumpkins are, of course, your material. I have the gray velour here, the orange and white gingham, the black and white gingham, a gray with white polka dots, I have the plaid material here. It has the cream, gray, and black. I have my sewing kit from the Dollar Tree. It has my needle, thread, pins, and scissors in there. I have some Chanel stems that I will be using to create the stems for my pumpkins. I have my leaves and some batting. Some additional supplies that you will need today are your basic tools like your scissors, your ruler, your hot glue gun with extra glue sticks, and a wire cutter. I'm going to start with this one right here, the, 
Divilor fabric. So I have um, this square piece here. It's about eight by eight. What I want to do is give it somewhat of a round shape. So I'm just going to fold it back here into fours and just trim the tips here. Give it a bit of a curvy cut on each tip there. My circle is a bit wonky. We can fix that, no problem. Bite a bit more. Well, you get the idea. There we go, that's fine. I have a bit of thread here. Do not tie the end of the thread. Just leave it as it is. So what you wanna do is go about a half an inch from the edge and then go ahead and do a little stitch there and leave about maybe four inches of the thread uh, hanging out and then do a back stitch right there in the same section you did this, the first stitch. Pull that through and that catches your thread. It keeps your thread from sliding all the way through. This step right here is very helpful when you're doing small pumpkins like this. And then go ahead and just do a, a running stitch just in and out with your needle like this all the way around the edge of your fabric here just like that we are at the end of um, stitching the running stitch around the fabric now now when you do this go past your first stitch so that's where you want to stop for a minute so take some batting and put it in your fabric here and then take the threading that has the needle attached and pull that helps gather the uh, fabric and you, it creates like a little pocket just like this. Like that. And then you go ahead and pull that tight. Gather your material, see like this all the way. Now hold your pull thread right there. Hold it and take your needle and we want to secure this thread now you can get an idea of where the thread is coming out right there go ahead and do a back stitch right there you have to hang on to one end and pull with the other see that keeps your material from unraveling. Now you can do another one if you like. And then take your end thready right there and you can tie that off. Like that. Give it a, um, a couple knots in there. Now I'm going to take that bunch, the gathered part right there, and then you just stuff that extra fabric inside. Tuck it all in there. That's one pumpkin. You can do an assembly line. That's my preferred method when I am doing multiple pumpkins. Just get them all to the stage right there where all the uh, pumpkins are tucked in and ready. While you're doing the next step is a good time to plug in your glue gun. Let your glue gun heat up. 
while you create the stems. So I have some brown Chanel stem here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this four times like that and then give it a twist like that. That creates my little stem. It's a very simple, quick process. Fold it in half, fold it in half again and twist just like that. Just put some glue right down the center there. Two leaves. So take your leaves like this, tuck that into the glue. See where the stick comes in handy? Really, really helpful. Take your stem and that also goes in there. There we go. Isn't that cute? I like it. Now you can adjust your leaves if you need to before that glue sets. And decide how you want your leaves to lay. Yep, there we go. Again, look at this. Isn't that cute? I have uh, my stems and my leaves attached to all my pumpkins. Now I want to go ahead and uh, give my little stems a twirl just like that. See? Cute. I love my pumpkin. So we have the gray velour fabric. Look at this. So pretty. We have the plaid one here. We have the gingham and orange. Orange and white, the black and the white, and then we have the polka dots. Look at that. They're so cute. I love them. I hope you like this idea and give it a try. Thank you for watching. This is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. Hello everyone, this is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. My crafting idea is to make some Halloween ribbon pumpkins. Some of the supplies that you will need today are your pumpkins. So I have 4x4 four four pumpkins and then I also have some mini pumpkins. And here are my ribbons. Dollar Tree does carry the check ribbon like this one here. It's the black and white one. They also carry the gingham ribbons. I found the orange and the white, the black and the white one. At the Dollar Tree, I also found these sequin ribbons. I have the black one and then this is like the gunmetal. The other two ribbons came from my local craft store. I have this black and white check one and this it's white grow grain with black polka dots on that one. Those are the ribbons that I will be using. I also have my Chanel stems. I will need this to make stems for any pumpkins that are missing stems. I have some leaves also. These came off uh, floral picks. The basic tools that you will need today, your scissors, your ruler. You will also need your hot glue gun with some glues. You can use a uh, craft glue also. I would like to start with my pumpkins. See, they have these little clips on the back or on the bottom of each pumpkin. What I did was I just, I pried the clip off. It is glued down with some hot glue. So just fiddle with that and then just 
if they pop right off. And then these pumpkins do come in white and in orange. And here's the orange one. These are the only two colors I've seen so far. So if there is another color out there, I have not seen. At least for the harvest collection, that is. So I have my pumpkins here now. The only other prep I would like to do is to pull these little stems out. And then be careful, I just, I think just twirl it around and then they come right out like this. Just unscrew the, the little stems. And I will be reusing these little stems. I would like to start with this one, I believe. And I want to use the the buffalo check ribbon so you can use hot glue gun if you like try and see which is uh, this is the top here I'm just gonna put a dab of glue here just a little bit not much at all just enough to catch my ribbon there and then you can wrap your ribbons down like this over the see how they're your pumpkins are segmented. Just run the ribbon right over that. And then put a dab of glue. Or just very little. You don't need a lot at all. Because you don't want your pumpkin to melt on you. And then just catch your ribbon there. Let the ribbon catch on the glue. Then go ahead and trim that off. Do the same thing for the next segment of the pumpkin. Catch that down. And now when you do this, when you overlap your ribbon, just make sure your overlapping ribbon is laying flat. Don't worry about that side. You'll lay that flat with the next ribbon. And trim that. I'm going to get my little rubber tips before I continue. Because <laughs> the blue is, is seeping through the ribbon. I am down to the last strip on my pumpkin here. So what I want to do is go ahead and attach it on top here. Just like that. Let that one catch. Now I want to put a dab of glue on the ribbon here and there. You can do that throughout the uh, the whole process if you like if as long as you pull your ribbon tightly you don't need it but again that's all preference uh, the larger the pumpkin is yeah definitely would need that extra glue to hold the ribbon down and catch that one and trim. So here's my pumpkin. Look at that. Cute. And I'm going to get my stem here. Now, because I covered the hole in there, I'm just going to trim off that little piece there. I'm going to put a dab of glue there. I'm going to get a piece of my leaf, take that there, and then take the stem 
and attach. Well, here is our pumpkin. Look at that. Black and white buffalo check pumpkin made just by you. On my next pumpkin, I would like to use this uh, sequin ribbon. It is the gunmetal color. So when I put my ribbon on the pumpkin itself, I want all my sequins to run in the same direction. So I will need to trim every so often. And I'm just gonna put some glue on the thread itself to keep my ribbon from unraveling. So I have decided to start about right here and then just run my sequin down the center like this. Now I'm going to leave my pumpkin white as it is, but if you don't want your pump the bottom color showing through, then go ahead and paint your pumpkin. So I'm going to, I have these little uh, sequin pins that I'm going to use. They're really tiny. I have been fiddling with this pumpkin for a bit. I tried to use the hot glue gun. That did not work out. Because I was taking so long, the pumpkin started to melt on me. <laughs> and then I thought, well, you know what? I'll just wrap the pumpkin like a mummy. That did not look too well. <laughs> I was not happy with the results on that one. And then I was like, well, I decided to glue it down, but it, that was not a happy process for me. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I got that pin down here. I'm going to go about halfway on the pumpkin and put another pin here. Just to keep the uh, ribbon from sliding everywhere. And I'm going to go about right here and pin this down. So I went ahead and trimmed it there. Now take your ribbon again and now go all the way to the center of your pumpkin. And just pin that down. And then bring that down on the side of your first um, strip of ribbon. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom, go all the way to the center there. Before I do that, let me put some glue on the back of my ribbon here. That way when I cut the, the threading, I already have glue on there. Makes things easy. A little simpler for me. I'm gonna let the glue set for a little bit and then trim that down and then repeat the whole process. So you want one long one, a short one, or two short ones depending on how wide the segment of your pumpkin is. I am happy to say that I am just about done. This project right here with the sequin ribbon 
it is quite time consuming. Just be prepared that when you decide to uh, use some sequin ribbons. I, like I said, I wanted that scaly, like dragon scales would be good. Look at that. I am done. It has taken me a while. Like I said, you can see how they have the little pins there. You can't really tell, can you? But there are um, the little pin heads in there. It just blends right in. Now, I do have some little uh, spare spots. Like, see here? If it really bothers you that much. Like I said, I don't mind. Got plenty of sequins left over. Just take one of these, put it on a pin and pop that in there and that will cover up that spot you have right there just like that mm, maybe there and it just it blends right in you can't really tell but i am actually happy with that so this <laughs> i am I am happy to say this is the only sequin ones I'm going to do today because <laughs> it's so time consuming I turned off my my heating tool. Now I'm just going to put some regular glue in there, take some leaves, tuck that in there, and then take my stem, add some more like that and then prop that back on and then I'm just gonna let that dry I bet it is done I hope you guys like that pumpkin the next ribbon I want to use is this one here it is the orange and white checked ribbon I'm gonna use the orange pumpkin for this going to do another one of the little gingham orange and white check and this one I'm just gonna wrap because I wrapped this one because the ribbons are so narrow and now I want to see 
what a wider ribbon will look like. On this one, I'm also going to do the, the wrap method, and I'm using the larger check one. I'm going to do the same thing for as I did the orange and the, the thin black and white ribbon. Just start right here in the center, come back around, and then uh, secure it one more time with the hot glue now and then just go ahead and do the crisscross just pull it tight just like that i'm going to put a dab of glue maybe every two wraps to help hold the ribbon in place I believe all of this is just which method you like best to use. Here are my Halloween ribbon pumpkins. I think that they turned out really well. I'm happy with them. Let me show you. Here is the orange and white gingham. I have the cut ribbon and I have the wrapped one. And I think that they do look very similar, so they look good. I like them. Here's the black and white gingham. I have the polka dots. Cute. That aside. And then I have the black and white checked. This is the half an inch ribbon. And then I have the a quarter of an inch black and white checked. See there? Cute. I have my uh, metallic sequin or the gunmetal color. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> Time consuming, but it is really pretty. And then I added um, the gray silk ribbon. I'm very happy with them. As you watch my video, you saw me adding leaves to these. I took them back off. Since they are Halloween pumpkins, I thought that they would uh, look better without the leaves. And I hope that I have inspired you today to create some ribbon pumpkins. Thank you for watching. Again, this is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. Here are my fabric and yarn pumpkins. I love them. They're so adorable. So here are my yarn pumpkins. This is the the big fuzzy yarn. And then here is the multicolored yarn. I really like them. They're cute. And then I have the the fabric covered ones. There's a pumpkin inside and just wrapped it with the fabric. There's that one. There's this one. Here's another one. 
it's got that velour fabric on there the famous pumpkins <laughs> or they're similar to the famous pumpkins at the Dollar Tree and then I have my ribbon pumpkins so cute I have my metallic one that took a lot of time <laughs> this was quite time consuming <laughs> Um, I have the silk ribbon also so cute I love my pumpkins or you could go with the natural color also nothing wrong with that I like the colors on this one it goes from orange to really light yellow and then the only other thing I did with my pumpkins was I took the leaves back off because they are Halloween pumpkins and from here you can do whatever you want with your pumpkins you can embellish it with like uh, spiders or I don't know put Jack right in the center that reminds me let me show you right quick I do have Jack nearby <laughs> we can stick Jack right in there <laughs> oh goodness I love Jack all right, he's having his jolly old time. Well, thank you for stopping by. I had a good time creating my fabric pumpkins, my yarn pumpkins. And I did choose colors to match my decor this year for the Halloween season. I love the little touch of orange in there with all the grays and the the dark colors you know I think it looks really cute I enjoyed it and then of course Jack here is very happy about his pumpkins and thank you for stopping by again this is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas